Cartoon Network. Ah, uh, yes, the best place of cartoon. The best place of my childhood and anyone else. And today, we're gonna talk about some games or probably something that obscures the side of the Cartoon Network history. Well, what we got here from the eBay store, this very glossy box. Oh, what's this? Courage, Maggot Blue, Billy, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Puffy, Amiyumi. Well, what's this? One of them. Oh, wow. Well, what we got here, this is Cartoon Network's All Stars. A uh, one box that contains the greatest full, greatest Cartoon Network power play games. Well, most of the games I already played before, and we're gonna talk about something that I never talked about to someone else. Just as uh, Country Cove, mini golf games, people play it before. Fast and Furious, okay, I know that. To the S stream, okay, someone's already know, and here it is Droppo. Well, Droppo, what is this? Country of Stars on your PC. Oh, here's the tons of shows that I already watched before, such as, well, Forster, Kicks Next Door, Dexter, Ed and Eddie, and tons of great games too. And let's see what is inside. Well, it's come only for. Uh, I can't see it. Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's come with all these CDs. This contains the game itself, and of course, it runs fine. And there's nothing on the back cover. Oh, uh, it's all clear. Well, the start of the case it contains CDs and here it is, the manual. Okay, got only two pages. Let's see, let's see, what is it? Alright, here's the installation instructions, so you don't need to understand it because we already know. And here's the OS. Well, it works on Windows XP, so let's take a little bit of history here. The game like the Splashback was also a first appeared on Megushi programming blog was nowadays it's already gone forever because probably a game with level one games called the splash bag is probably a very basic concept today in 2012 they also have their own version of the game and it'll have a very improved graphics so this is splash bag 2012 has the game itself like 2005 well let's take a look okay so here this is cartoon that works all stars dropples and here, this is World Tour. Whoa, what's this? CGI? Well, let me think about it. Well, I think it seems too easy. Uh, not really. The second, the second thought, the graphics is a of course, this is their own version itself. This is before this 2012 Splash Bag. Alright, so here is my basic gameplay. So, it's very simple objective. Well, our mission is to have to clear all those schools, or probably call it blobs. To complete all the stages, we have to clear them all. And probably we have a limited of drops to clear all the stages. Each drop okay, contains to each one drop for blowing all three blocks in one in one shot. Well, it's very simple, but you have to think a lot. I mean, you have to use tons of logical or puzzle. No, not too much. It's a very easy game, but it probably makes everyone addicted. Or sometimes this final is very easy, like me. Wait a second. What is this? Oh, well, there's something's blocked on my chain reaction. Well, here it goes. This is optical for when I first time I got. Oh, man. It made me really upset. So, oh, I beat it. 24 drops. Oh, 25 drops. And here's another level. So, what would it got? Oh, I got 20 drops. At least they take at least a lot of maximum limit. Alright, I beat it. Let's see. Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh my. Oh, another bumper. Let's 
some obstacles might help you to clear the game, such as trampoline. This one will bounce, depends on the direction. Well, it helps a lot. I really like these things. Okay, so this is the tour. This one changed the drop directions. And it also helps to make uh, clear all those blocks, to clear all the stages. I mean, each side, you need a tour. So there's some of the obstacles might help a lot during the gameplay. I mean, it's help assisting to clear the game. Like for this sample here, this is cryptic. Thank God it's cleared. Well, I have only one problem. So if you run out of drop, the game's end. So watch this. I got only two drops. What should I do? Let's try this one. Oh no. No! Man. But there's a very interesting part. Is the Cartoon Network's Drop Out 2005 versions contains a lot of great variety, such as the uh, puzzle mode. And this cutscene on CGI was made by the Animal Logic, who made a great animated show called Happy Feet. And the Cartoon Network's City Bumpers. So overall, Cartoon Network's All Stars Drop Balls released in 2005 is uh, probably my best Cartoon Network's power play games I ever played. So it not just only made me addicted, but it's reimagined the Cartoon Network City Bumpers make to the next level. I mean, it also creates tons of great backdrops from the Cartoon Network cities and other kinds of great shows that I found along with that. So I remember that this game has have the trial version so I played it before but I got only about three or five levels from Foster Home and it, this is my experience when I played that game from that since the Magushi to this game. Well basically if you wanna buy this game if you're a Cartoon Network fan you might uh, you might get this game on eBay I and mean, it's, it's pretty cheap it's still available on this any kind of store by Amazon or the eBay probably so you can get it right now because it's still available here at the uh, on a website. So if you're born in 1996 or born in old school, very old school Cartoon Network era, well, I recommend this game for probably a Cartoon Network fan. So I really appreciate it. This is my first time review. Well, my watch kind of sucks, and. I hope to see you guys again for my own next video, so don't forget to rate, subscribe, or even leave the comments below, so see you guys, and see you guys later. This is Lance Tongshot, signing off.